Hey everyone, this is Billy. On this video, I'm gonna clean up my great grandmother Dutch oven. Well, this is amazing what I found the other day, man. It's actually the real, my real great grandmother Dutch oven. It's amazing. Yeah, she used to cook beans, you know, for my Actually, my grandfather, you know, that's amazing. Well, it's like, I know a lot of you will say it's just, you know, just threw it away, it's done. But, you know, it's like, man, my grandmother used to use it, you know, so I'm not gonna throw it away. And this technique, actually, I learned it from old folks. And I'm just gonna do it in the bush, not at home, in the bush, it's right here on the fire. First of all, I'm just gonna pour a bit of water on it because I want to clean it. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> what? This is a huge challenge. Today it's very cold, so I'm just gonna put it in the fire just to warm the whole thing up. I don't want it to boil, but it's just gonna be too freezing with my hands. Okay. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Look warm. I'm just gonna pour a bit of soap, just a bit. Even the soap, the soap is frozen solid. <laughs> okay. And after, I'm just removing as much as possible rust in it. I could do it. Some people does it, you know, with the buffer. But I'd rather to take my time and just to do it slowly by hand. Takes a long time. It's better to go where it's warm. I'm, uh, I'm done now. You can see it's pretty clean. Now, step two. Woohoo! So, step two is to put lard, but with no, with no salt at all. of hamber, they need a lot. I want it to be very hot, so all the old rusty, you know, grease that was underneath, or you know, everything I want it to burn. It's very easy to remove Okay Oh ho, 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 that's hot tea I'm just using it I'm just using edible edible oil. That would work. Edible oil. Oh man, that's a good word, huh? There we go. And I'm just, you know, cleaning it as much as I can. After the whole, after the whole afternoon working with this, 
hot. I'm done now. Oh man, my great grandmother will be proud of me. <laughs> well, it's pretty clean compared, you know, to what it was at the beginning. Yeah. Even if I boil some water, you will see some particles, you know. You will see some piece of little little powder of steel floating on the water. So that's why I really don't encourage you to cook on an old Dutch oven or old pot. Uh, rather, you know, just buy a new one, guys, uh, and it will be way safer. So this is Billy cleaning up his grand great grandma. Uh, part <laughs> for fun for decoration. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time for more fun. Live your passion. Live the adventure. Bye So that was cleaning my great-grandmother uh, Dutch oven. Hey guys, I've got two other videos uh, for for you for you only um, the first one is cooking beans at the log cabin, a very good one, you're gonna laugh I'm sure. And the other one, it's <laughs> cooking uh, actually Bannock on ashes, which was not that good, oh man. Hey, are you new to my channel? Well, subscribe, you're gonna have fun, and thanks for supporting my channel. Oh man, the, the, the song is over now. Okay, no no more music. Um, oh well, guys, uh, I've got to hurry up now. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for your comment again, and see you next time. Oh yeah, for more fun. Uh, yeah, bye.